Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello Saturday declared his intention to contest the 2023 presidential election on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. He asked Nigerians to make informed decisions on who to become the next president as he warned against repeating past mistakes. The governor who expressed his interest at an event at the Eagle Square in Abuja promised to create 20 million millionaires by the year 2030 using the Southeast model of apprenticeship and that he would end the farmer header clashes. He said his youthfulness would enhance his performance, noting that he is physically and mentally fit to lead Nigeria to prosperity. Our reporter Faith Adugafa has more. The official declaration attracted massive crowd at the Eagle Square Abuja. Many of them traveled from across the 36 states, including the FCT, to express their support. Many who spoke to journalists said Governor Bello is an outstanding leader that has demonstrated his worth in Kogi State, with the capacity and skills to lead Nigeria to a greater height. Governor Yaya Bello would have done differently. When we arrived in Kogi State, His Excellency from Intelligence knew the security of the locations of terrorist cells, names of kidnapped odds and thugs and assassins in Kogi State. He probably was also listening to their conversation, but he did not speak about it. He went head on and decimated them. And today, Kogi is one of the safest states in Nigeria. So on security, Governor Yayabono does more of action than talking. Number two, there are two major monsters that have stagnated the speed and development of this country. We all know those two monsters. The monsters of tribalism and the monster of religious affiliation. Governor Yaya Adosabelu, in the last seven years, has shown clearly, without any iota of doubt, that he is a leader who is 100 percent tribalized. Nigeria needs a governor. Uh, it needs a governor uh, who has acquired experience of eight years to translate to a president to check this insecurity problem. One of these, this insecurity problem is the major thing today bedeviling this country. We need a president who he will hear gunshot in Sambisa forest and he can be there. We need a president. When bandits are at Kaduna Abuja Highway, Highway, he could be there. We need a president that will run to all the nooks and crannies of this country as a leader. That means we need a youthful, intelligent, sagacious, and strong president. That is the embodiment and personification and make of Governor Alhaji Dr. Yahaya Adozabello. I can assure you that it's going to turn the situation of the, the insecurity around. Talk about youth inclusiveness. You discover that by the time he gets there, the youth inclusiveness will, will increase in the country. Women participation. These are areas we felt that by the time he comes in, there will be a turnaround in such sectors. That's why we are giving him, and that's why we are pressing all this while that he should come out to contest and save us. Hello is a competent man. He's our governor in Kogi State, and he has been doing well. And I know, and I call him a smart thinker, because he thinks ahead, he's proactive. And for that, I have confidence for him, because he was my childhood friend, we are schoolmates. I know him from the grassroots. He can do it, he's able. He's a dream come true person. And he's a listening person, he has a listening ear. By one way or the other, if you can get his contact, you can push advice to him. 
from any angle. And I am very sure for Yaya Bello that I used to know, he will listen to you by the special grace of God. Thank you. Yaya Bello topped the list of the best governor in security in Nigeria. And security is the best business of every government. Yaya Bello is a no-nonsense man when it comes to the issue of security. Today the crisis rocking, destroying Nigeria is his security. One blast in Kaduna, one blast in the airport, railway, train station being blasted. Yaya Bello, as a president of Nigeria, none of these people who have faith, none of them who have any privilege and opportunity to continue to run for Nigeria. As you can see, Yaya Bello as a governor from this state, you see the cabinet being dominated by youths and women. Yaya Bello will never bring in somebody using walking stick to be a member of his cabinet so that the system can work. Yaya Bello is a digital governor. Yaya Bello is a vibrant person. Yaya Bello is a chartered accountant who by every ramification, it will, it will now reshape the economy of Nigeria. So, youth and Nigerians calling for Yaya Bello, they know what it is in the future. Bello will be the hope of Nigeria to 2023. In the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, there is no zoning in the constitution of the All Progressive Congress. Now, listen and listen very carefully. Nigeria poverty, Nigeria trouble, Nigeria war does not depend on zoning. Whatever zone you are in Nigeria, people are facing poverty in the south, they are facing poverty in the north, they are facing poverty in the east. Poverty does not know zoning. So the issue of zoning is criminal abidation. The issue of zoning is atomizing. So while we are wasting and washing, by the time we face the reality of the matter, and Bello goes to contest the presidency on this ground, bet me, Bello will emerge victorious. They emphasize that security, women and youth inclusion, which the governor is already known for, as his strength in Kogi are what Nigerians need at such a time like this. The youth have, of course, strength and agility. The youth have purposeful in leadership. The youth have the zeal and envy of Nigeria as a nation. It is there in our history long before today. The youth are the owners of the nation. It were young people who fought for the independence of Nigeria. It was young people as military head of state that ensured that Nigeria remain one. We are bringing back the old norm. Nigeria must be managed for the youth, by the youth, and for the youth. Yaya Bello represents the youth. Yaya Bello is a new hope. Yaya Bello is a bridge of gap between the younger and the older. Let them know outside that we are restructuring Nigeria from older people ruling us to younger people ruling us. Let them know outside that we are coming on a revolution by the ballot. Our PVC shall be used to send the message because Yaya Bello is the one that will save Nigeria. Yaya Bello means jobs. Yaya Bello means security. Yaya Bello means youth ownership of governance. We are not asking for youth inclusiveness, youth ownership, because we constitute the majority. He has the strength to rule this country. Today, the only man that can rule this country is Al Haji Adon Yaya Bello. Because the brief between the old and the young. Yes, yes. Point out to one government that can do it, even though Yaya Bello. He has shown it to this state. He has shown it in security, he has shown it in infrastructure, he has shown it in health, in education, all around. The women, the women inclusive, it's all Yaya Bello in Nigeria. In Nigeria today, women in governance is Yaya Bello. Youth inclusiveness concern, youth involvement in, pol in politics. As you see me, I am less than 33 years old and he found me worthy in his cabinet. As you see, a lot of women here is the only governor in Nigeria that affirmed the 35% women inclusiveness in politics. As you well can see, the development that is going on in Kogi State, as you can all see that is the most security conscious governor we ever had in Nigeria. And if you have Yabelo today as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you will know the new architect of Nigeria, it will be positive. As you can see, 
the whole institution in Nigeria, they are home today because of us strike. It is only in Kogi State that you see Kogi State University and the Copeland Science, uh, the Copeland University of Technology, they are all in session because the Abelo does not believe in the power of ASU, does not believe there is existence of ASU, he does not want anything to interrupt the educational life system of Kogi students. He met one for Kogi students, and you can believe with me that if we become the president of Nigeria, there will be no more ASU strike, there will be no delay when it comes to education. Kogi State border, nine states, and you can see the security architects of the state. We thank God that God gave us the Abelu. And we are praying that Nigerians should adopt the man called Yaya Belu, and there will be new Nigeria. The reason why we pinch our tent behind His Excellency Alahagi Yaya Belu is because he is a security conscious governor. We can see his antecedents as far as security architecture is concerned. Kogi State is bordered around 10 states. But Yabelo was able to administer security leadership. In Kogi State, there's nothing like kidnapping. In Kogi State, security issue is reduced to the barest minimum. Governor Yaya Dodabelo is the answer to insecurity in Kogi State. The answer to insecurity in Nigeria. We know what is happening in the current state of our country. Insecurity everywhere. We hope that if Yaya Bello becomes the next president of Nigeria, the issue of insecurity will be solved. Another issue is the issue of youth and women inclusiveness. Yaya Bello in Africa is the only governor who have answered to the 35 of our nation for the women inclusiveness and governance. His Excellency President Yaya Bello, when it comes to security, is the best. I want Nigerians to appreciate the fact that God has blessed them with Yaya Bello. He's young, he's intelligent, he's vibrant, and inshallah, they will swear him in as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. State, I believe with Governor Yaya Bello, let me say with President Yaya Bello, by the special grace of God, it's going to be the dawn of a new day in Nigeria. The Nigeria we all have been agitating for, the dreams, the hope, the aspiration, that is what Yabelo is set to bring on board for us in Nigeria. He's just the right one. He's the chosen one. He's a unifier. He's a bridge builder. He's everything. He's, he's, he's everything the modern Nigeria wants now. In a local government, you live in Nigeria. I see. By before, before you can become anybody in this country, yes, sir. your father might either be a senator or retired general. But somebody like me, I'm the, I'm the longest serving Agon chairman in the whole Nigeria for five, seven years. My mother is poor, my father is poor. So I'm using this Sephora to appeal to the entire nation to allow Yaya Bello to be the next president so that what is happening in Kogi State can, have, can come all over Nigeria. Some people will just be saying a lot of things. And let them come home, let them come to Kogi State and see practically by yourself. All the council leaders in, the, in, like, in Kogi State are women. All the vice chairman are women, supervisors, everything. So what? This has answered my question. The President General, Yoruba General Assembly, Jagumulu, Uruwato Sitomori says their mandate is to support the young and vibrant youth with agility to restore peace in the country, a country where security will be everyone's right. He said if Yaya Bello is allowed to lead, security of life and properties will be... So for giving us the privilege uh, to be here presently at the declaration of our main mandate, the principal, so to say. Chairman of the occasion, Savado Mushud, former lawmaker Senator Jonathan Wengina, 
the Yaya Bello Presidential Campaign Organization, National Coordinator and Chairman National Campaign Council, said the country will be better if a young resort-oriented Governor Yaya Bello is elected to mount the affairs. Governor Yaya Bello assumed the office as the youngest governor in this country. The youth of this country, you don't need to sit down and be saying we are the leaders of tomorrow. You have to come up and support members of the youth so that we can be proud that we have effective, powerful, sensible and smart youth in this country. I can assure you, you all the youth of this country, the women of this country, you are capable of getting the best out of this nation. This is the best country in the world. If you come out to give all your support to Governor Yaya Bill, I can assure you, you will be happy you have the best of Nigeria in the very short future. Let me remind you of his decision not to accept the reality of pandemic. He put his foot down and was moving right because nobody died of pandemic in his state. His state was not locked down and that gave me the confidence in this gentleman that nobody can intimidate him with any policy from any authority of the world. Security network of Kogi is second to none because it combined the conventional security with the local security to man the state and it proved to be successful. In July last year, a letter of commendation from the World Bank through its regional direction for country. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria for a governor to refund surplus money back for others to use. Therefore, my pride and job to say that Governor Yabello has capacity to introduce into Nigeria the miracle of Singapore, the miracle of the United Arab Emirates or Dubai, so that we can become a country that Nigeria and the world can be proud of. We pray that all of us will support Governor Yahya Bello. He will build all the gaps, restore hope, and get the country moving on the right course. In this regard, we have identified Yahya Bello as the purpose president for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the transformation of nations and transition from arrest to the government is important. Yahya Bello is young, but he offers more than just his influence. From my findings and interactions, we find in him and those who have known him for a considerable length of time, Yahya Bello is a highly detrabalized leader with no trace of religious discrimination at all. It is with humble, with all sense of humility and due sense of history that we say to all Nigerians today that the train to our destiny is about to take off. We are now on the march to Nigeria's true destiny as the greatest black nation in the world. And we are marching with all of you. I congratulate all the women here and I congratulate all the women of Nigeria. Nigerian women have been made into cooks and singers for campaign. Today I am Director General, the first woman Director General of a presidential campaign organization. We are not just singing, we are not just cooking, we are going to build this country. I stand before you as a member of the youth, I'm not as youthful as some of you are that are here, but I'm more youthful than some of our elders as well. 
and I say to you that today we signal to all the vested interests in Nigeria that the takeover by Nigerian women, the takeover by Nigerian young people, the takeover by Nigerian people has begun. Senator Jonathan Wingina said that today in Nigeria there is evidence that hope can inspire. And when the word hope is mentioned in connection with politics, it invokes his emotions, having been part of an integrated part of a hope project some three decades ago. Here is again in another hope assignment from Hope 93 to Hope 23. Even today, hope remains relevant to the nation discourse. He added that Nigeria hope for a country they can be proud of, which has been the main focus of the administration. Above all Nigeria across generations, hope for the next leader who can further inspire hope and continue the good works undertaken by President Muhammad Buhari. And he is happy to inform Nigerians that that leadership search for the continuation of President Buhari, positive legacy, has been found in Yaya Belu. It is a record that he runs his state with appointees from the zones of this country. At least 45 of his political appointees are indigenous from other states and geopolitical zones of the country. He has managed to do that without provoking political backlash from his country men and women. This is due to his understanding nature and the sheer political dexterity. Nigeria needs such leadership at the moment. Kogi State Governor Bello explained that he has a vision of a Nigerian government, an economy that is open, inclusive, and honest. And with leaders like him, building the new Nigeria is possible with God on his side. He maintained that Kogi State under his leadership has consistently led others in the World Bank State, physical transparency, accountability and sustainability in this is it is a result he wants to mainstream the nation as a whole i am not an unknown quantity i have been the governor of Togi state since january 27 2016. i invite nigerians to access my suitability to be president on the scorecard of my performance of course when I mean my real scorecard, the verifiable, tangible baskets of work that we undertook and are undertaking to improve the lives and the welfare of our people. I do not deny that false and evil reports against us have taken field, have often been filled the press, but all of us know why. He who pays the piper dictates the tune, and those who control the media control the narratives. It is well known that we offered powerful vested, we offended powerful vested interests on our way to power in Kogi State. Moreover, since we took office, we have committed the unpardonable political sin in Nigeria. That is, Refusal to have Godfathers and Koto with them. Their anger has gone furiously against us, and sadly, they have often misled the media about us. As a result, we have had to work extra hard to receive far fair com comment, not to talk of accolades or credit for our many achievements. Before now, we have not cared much for bias reportage. Actually, we have gone ahead to record huge successes in spite of it. However, the 2023 presidential election is actually a button for the survival of Nigeria. And I am passionate enough about my country fight for the privilege of leading her. In this race, I am adamant 
that the truth and nothing but the truth shall count for any assessment of your higher below and as a governor and as a presidential aspirant. As part of our effort to set the record straight, we have developed an e-compendium, which is probably the first and the only one of its kind among Nigerian states. We have showcased what we have done in my new direction administration, Ikwogi State there. It is domicile at www.kogipedia.net and covers the period of 2016 till date. Kogipedia is a rich resource for research into the claim of performance which we shall make in the course of our presidential run. I have instituted a standing reward for anyone who can disprove any of the hundreds of projects we have done in Kogi State which are showcased in that particular website. More information about how we have led the confluence set can also be found on our official Kogi State website www.kogistate.gov he noted that as president, he will foster an economy in which every citizen can maximize he or her potential as wealth creator and change agents. Governor Bello promised he could work towards a democracy of the economy which places equal access to the factors of productivity within the power of any citizen who is ready to work hard and smart in pursuing of their dreams by adopting the Igbo style of trading mentorship to create more millionaires amongst the youth in the country. The Buhari administration has a target of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty by year 2030. A Yahya Bello administration or Yahya Bello presidency will have an additional target of creating at least 20 million millionaires by the same year 2030 with the aim that each of them will employ or otherwise empower at least five other citizens. In this regard, we are going to learn a lot from the Southeast. We shall learn from our Igbo brothers. The apprenticeship model by which a boy from an indigent or affluent background is taken, trip, turned into a multi-millionaire businessman in as little as 10 years is one we have to study or understudy and invest in. Harvard University already studied it and the Nigerian government must do no less. He assured Nigeria of adequate security of life and properties that we attract an inflow of investors, businesses, and improve the lives of the indigent in the country. Kogi Governor Yayabelo has received many calls from the Nigerian youth to declare to contest in the 2023 presidential election months ago. These same youths hope that the APC ticket is given to him during the party primary election. Faith Abdul Ghaffar reporting for MSC TV. Following the official declaration of Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello to contest for the presidential seat in the next political dispensation, a support group, Iberia Nation Stand Up for GYB to PYB, has described Governor Bello as an aspirant to beat in the next general elections. Speaking at the Eagle Square Abuja, the national women leader of the support group, Bill Kiss Okuku, said Governor Bello has, in all ramifications, shown his capacity to serve as the country's president, noting that insecurity will become a thing of the past in Nigeria when the governor becomes president. While ailing Governor Bello for his courage to declare his intention to contest for the 2023 presidential seat, she enjoined Nigerians to make GYB to PYB a personal project to enable them enjoy more dividends of democracy. Yabelo is a man that all Nigerians are clamoring for. 
Then, if the Ebra nation that owns him does not stand up for him, then that will be a negative part of Ebra people. But I want you to know that the entire Ebra nation are standing up for GYB to PYB. Women should be the frontliners. By the time you consider the level of consideration he gave to we women, as I speak with you, I am an SSA to him on grassroots sensitization. Also the national woman leader of Ebra Nation stand up for GYB to PYB. So women should stand up for this 80%. And as you can see, the association that have endorsed him, women are 90%. So we are out for him. On his part, the director of media publicity of Ebra Nation stand up for GYB to PYB, Saliu Ojo Emmanuel, scores Governor Belo I in the areas of security, civil service reform, education, health, agriculture, among others, saying Nigeria needs a man who is courageous and proactive like the Kogi state governor. Uh, is that, number one, it's very, very strong. It's very, very bold. And for the, for the um, activities and most of the work he has done in the state, in the area of security, in the area of uh, civil service reform, honestly, we are convinced and is the kind of person that we will support to be the president of Nigeria come 2023. Also, if you look at the security situation, the way now, if you consider that, he normally uh, man the security uh, aspect of uh, any program that the APC is doing, and is the security chairman of the 19 Northern Governors in the, uh, in the nations. And Yabelo has done a lot of things that convince us and youth, and especially now that youth are clamoring that somebody that will man the, 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 the position of presidency 2023 should be a youth. Yabilu is uh, in position to do that. Number one, you know that he has served eight years. He had that experience. That is one of those qualities. Thank you. Recall that in recent months, Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State have been receiving calls from all quarters to join the 2023 presidential race. His acceptance at the Eagle Square Abuja received mammoth crowd as the governor promised to bring hope to the country again.